Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Planet Coaster 2. So last time we tested out the new water slides and made this monstrosity. Where if you look from below, you'll see <laughs> people just come flying down into this pool. I mean, I guess you could say it's raining men. But yeah, this place was so successful that I figured we can't just leave it like this. The people deserve more. They, oh my God, what the, no way. Okay, so from this path, if if we just zoom out, you'll notice they are coming from this direction over here. And basically over here, we have this pool where there's just one person in the middle. How did they get there? Well, if we travel up from the pool over to here, this slide is called the Clonic Irrigator. And you'll see if we look at the testing, that's because the max speed is 100. 21 miles an hour. Suddenly the name makes sense. But yeah, I'm guessing all the people coming back are people that have ridden this ride, although it doesn't seem to be as popular anymore. Most people coming up here, they're just going down the death swells. Anyway, it's time to expand our park. I feel like we're sort of at capacity here. And there's so many more different slide types, as well as different things to play with, like lazy river jets and wave machines. And I think we've sort of got a theme here. Like, it looks like you should die, but everyone actually loves it. So that's going to be the theme. Looks like you should die when you ride this, but it's actually quite fun. And by the way, if you'd rather see something a bit more realistic, I've actually started a new series on Patreon, building a completely realistic theme park. And it's going to be based on like all the games that I play. So there's going to be a timber borners area with like a big dam and a log flume, a poly bridge area with obviously bridges, all sorts of stuff. But it's probably going to be quite a slow paced series. So that's why it's not going to be on the main channel. So head to my Patreon if you want to check that out. But for now we've got this to do. So what I'm thinking, lazy river. Now it looks like we've got different shapes. So, oh, I thought there wasn't a hexagon there. I was like, there's an octagon. There's a pentagon. Where's the hexagon? Of course we have a hexagon. Uh, this is just the stamp builder, by the way. I probably want to do like a line actually with a curve. You can change the depth from, oh, all different depths. That's cool. So I think I want this really deep just to make it that little bit more terrifying. I won't go too wide. By the way, I'm just seeing like the shadows of people falling in the background. <laughs> falling from like 300 meters into a pool. Uh, they're all fine though. But yeah, right. What I'm thinking, if I snap this to 90 degrees and go to there and then do the same over to there and then the same over to there and then link that up. It's not a perfect circle, but it is a circle full of water. Now, in order to make it safe, we need a lifeguard chair. So, oh, it looks like they've got that sort of range. So, we would need quite a lot of lifeguards just to keep this safe. I mean, probably worth doing, right? Although, actually, no, no, no. I've just realized if we make this a lazy river, we keep the flow spinning around and around. As long as the guests are going fast enough, if someone drowns out of this guy's view, then it won't take long until their body comes all the way around. And probably before they've even drowned, this guy would have seen them. Okay, we can make this safe. First off, let's make sure we have a path over. There we go. And then we've got to make sure people can enter the pool. So I guess a pool ladder. So we'll put a load of ladders in. Right, I've just been hit with a notification. Our new pool's area safety is low. Well, that's because we haven't put the lazy river jets in yet. So if we grab one of these, we can't seem to change the power. I don't actually know. What is it? What is it snapping to? Oh, they just go like, they go at a certain depth. So, oh yeah, look, can you see them? So they're starting to create a current. So I'm guessing if we just add like more and more, then as we work our way around, the current should start going pretty well. Maybe this shouldn't be so deep and it would work a little bit better. I mean, we're just making like an undercurrent super dangerous. Swim too deep and you're gone. Oh, actually, oh no, look, there is an angle snap. I don't know what the angle's doing. It doesn't seem to change what way the jet is going. You know, let me just do a pull on the inner edge. So we'll make this swimming. So yeah, we'll just work our way around with this. So this is a swimming depth. So it should be quite a bit shallower. So if we start adding the lazy jets to this, do we, I'm not seeing any surface movement still. I don't know. The first guests are on their way. So I guess we'll see what it does. I think for now, let's just, oh, hang on. No, no, look, I have changed the angle. Oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. There's obviously the rotate button. So just use the rotate button. <laughs> okay. That makes a lot more sense. Right. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a load of these like this on the deeper one. Then we'll do a load like this on the shallower pool as well. And then where we've got them all down that side, we we want to make sure they're down the other side, but facing that direction. And yeah, we're going to try and make this a not so lazy river. So give me a little while to do this and pray for my frame rate. <laughs> Eventually. Okay, so final one's 
going in. I'm glad that is over. Okay, so that should give us some crazy momentum. Oh, you can actually see that the water at the surface is now moving. Uh, sadly, looks like people aren't too interested. Like, they sort of get over here and then just turn around. And maybe that's because I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered to finish the deep one. I don't think it was doing my, oh, actually, is it doing, oh, I might have to do, I might have to do the deep one as well. Yeah, because actually, look, the prestige of the, of the first, the deep pool, 247. The other pool, because it's got so many jets, 302. Yeah, look, 534 jets. That has the a load of prestige. I mean, we could add some scenery as well. That will probably help both of them if I shove it down here. Yes, the prestige is rising. Right, there's also a scenery brush. So I guess we could add some like trees, get a few rocks involved. People love rocks. All right, and then check out the prestige. Okay, all it needs now is a suitable name, I think. Not swimming pool five. All to cool accelerator because once you do a few laps of this, you might turn into something else. Okay, now we've just got to make sure people can get there because they can get to the, the outer pool, which does have good prestige now. But I'm thinking because it's so deep, maybe people can only dive in. So if we put some ladders down like this side, Will that allow people to get across? Oh, it's working. This guy's taking his kids straight in. Okay, so they're going in. Let's hope they don't hit the undercurrent. Oh no, he's off. He's off. <laughs> They've been separated. Man, that's actually a really deep pool. But yeah, loads of people are getting in. And what I'm hoping is some of them will get out and then go into this pool over here. So I'm guessing I need to get ladders in over that side. Oh, no, annoyingly, there's too many. Oh, there you go. You can do your shorter ladder. Yeah, I think the longer ladders, they, they clash with those. So we need to do short ladders. All right, but what I'm hoping, some people will go across there. Otherwise, you might have to do a bridge. And being an engineer, I do not mind having to build a bridge. Oh, no, look, guests can't reach the political accelerator. Okay, I'm going to have to build a bridge. Don't worry, though. This is what I've been trained for. So, oh, no, it blocked underneath. That's not a bridge. What is that? Right, I think it just didn't go high enough. So that's fine. We'll go over to there, down to there. Move the rocks out the way so people can actually get around. Move these ones that are poking through. We won't want a tripping hazard. We only want it to look dangerous. It's not actually going to be dangerous, remember? All right, yes, our first victim. It's a small child. So they should get whipped away by the current. And I'm hoping they'll speed around so that our lifeguard can keep safe watch on them. All right, so they're in. They are off. <laughs> oh, annoyingly, they're not moving as fast as I thought they would. I mean, it's definitely not a lazy slide, but I sort of hoped with so many jets, they might go flying. Yeah, I mean, we're in a first person and I think it's definitely, it's definitely lazy. Oh my goodness, that bird just flew into here. That's disgusting. Uh, oh, look at this. Many guests are tired. Make sure there are enough benches. Oh, we need somewhere for people to sit down, do we? Well, since this was a success, let's move on and think of something where people can sit down. So let's do a little seating area. I think if we just do a little path off here. Now paths have something very cool with them now in that you can do like a shape with them and then you can use this up here, the stamp builder which of course has hexagons in it but you can literally then just fill in an area and suddenly you have a really really wide path so we can then take our wide path and then we can fill it with benches so people can sit down now although people are complaining about being tired they want to sit down in my opinion people are here for the rides not the sitting so we don't want people to sit for too long so i've just shoved a load of cacti under this bench so that should mean people shouldn't sit there for too long the thing is we've now got all of these benches where we need to try and discourage people from sitting down so they can enjoy the rides. So this one I made a little bit spiky. This one also has a built-in irrigation system like the slide does. Uh, this one's pretty self-explanatory. This one flings dirt into your butt. This one cools your butt with snow which might be quite handy after that. And then this one on the end is kind of self-explanatory. Right, and just so there's no confusion who this is aimed for, I've added a nice sign. Okay, nice. Right, let's move on to something else. Uh, there's definitely enough benches. Dismiss that notification. Now, something we haven't really catered for here is something like a bit less thrillful. Oh, by the way, <laughs> look at all the people in this. So the outside one doesn't have the lazy river. Look at that. Look at the speed. But yeah, what I was thinking maybe a raft bloom like if you're sat in like one of those life rafts you're gonna feel pretty safe already right like this is what cruise ships and stuff are filled of in case anything goes wrong so what i'm thinking so we'll start it quite low it's i mean we need a bit of height because i want to add some of these special things oh it's the end of the day we made profit nice i'm mostly just pleased we get some sunshine i can see what i'm doing again though all right so then i want to use these huge pieces I like venus fly catchers look really fun but quite smooth. So we'll watch the test of this. So it's 
pretty good fun. And the best thing is, I know I said we weren't going to go very high, but I want this to be like really long. And like from inside, you can't really tell exactly how high you are. But like, look how fun this is. So they just slowly work their way down and down and down. Um, and I may have got slightly carried away. There's quite a few. All I want to be careful of is the speed because we're up to 40 mile an hour at some point. <laughs> But I think the way this works, that we should be fine to go down this entire structure. And uh, it doesn't stop there. No. Can you see underground? I've carried on building. I just need to terrain that out. So we'll go into this terrain tool. We'll then get the push. Crank the intensity up to 100. And then we'll just push down. And hopefully we can dig out this entire thing. Meanwhile, the test is still going on. <laughs> It is pretty deep down here. I keep pushing down and I just keep revealing more and more of this slide. How deep does it go? Oh, we got a random flash of light. What's that come from? I don't know, but it's useful because I can see what I'm doing now. Okay, now it's got a little bit darker. Yeah, I don't know what that light is down there. I'm not complaining though. Okay, so while I just dig this out, if you want to win this game, Frontier, the lovely developers, gave me two Steam keys that I'm giving away in my weekly newsletter. So sign up for free using the link in my description and every Every Thursday delivered to your inbox, you will get an email full of engineering news, indie game news, and if you make sure to vote in last week's poll, you will be entered into the giveaway to win Planet Coaster 2. And oh, look down here, this that's where the test one's got to, so the test one hasn't quite finished yet. This could be a long ride. Right, there is the, that's the actual, that's the exit. So all we've got to do now is put that into a pool. So that's the pool it finishes on. We need, we need some lights down here. Okay, there we go, perfect. Plus we are literally in the pit of hell. Like if we, we try and zoom up to the surface, there we go. It's a long way down there so i think that's quite apt all we need to do now is put a footpath in so people can get back to the surface so i'm just doing stairs up as high as i can all right oh and then we've popped up back to the surface so we can link over there and then we can finally have a look at this ride which i'll just call the venus flytrap because that makes the most sense and then we'll get it open and see if anyone goes down okay next up keeping with the water thing Theme. We could definitely put in a little log flume. That is quite nice, actually. Wave force. That's quite cool. Although, perhaps to keep in theme with everything, let's get rid of the E. Wave fork. Yes, that makes sense because as a safety feature, I added these fork spikes to every single seat. So this means as people jump in, they are now completely safe. Oh, why did it go red? I don't know why that would have made it go red on the inside. But anyway, now these guys are off and it means they can do things like the drop completely completely securely without a lap bar ruining their ride. Uh, by the way, this is quite a cool feature of this as well. Look, it's got a vertical lift, a log flume with a lift. No, you can even see like the little counterweight going down. I like that. Anyway, these guys then head down the big drop and their lovely fork daggers keep them in their seat nice and secure. Right, I think it's time now to have a little play with these wave machines. So if we create our own custom pool like over here, I've done one pool at normal swimming depth. I'll do another one at diving depth next to it. And then maybe a wading one just to see what happens. So right into the wave machine. Now we've got the one meter one. Is that the depth or is that the width? I think that's the width, right? So right, if we put this right on the edge, I I assume we can fit a few of these next to each other. So yeah, it looks like we can fit only three in each. So it'll be interesting to see how this works and the different depths. So these should start creating waves now. And yeah, you can see there's rippling on the surface. It looks like the swimming depth is good. The diving pool depth doesn't seem to be doing a lot. I mean, maybe if we just speed up a bit just so it has some time. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the world's smallest waves. Like, <laughs> I don't think I'd be too impressed with these. Something I do want to try, though, if we do a pool like that, that's a bit wider, and we have a go with the bigger machine. Is that any better? I mean, it sort of seems better. I'm wondering as well, what if we have waves from every direction? <laughs> oh yeah, that's starting, that is starting to get us some movement. I mean, to be fair, all of these are actually doing something. Let's just keep adding more. If we add them all the way along the edge on these longer pools. Oh yes, okay, okay, that's got some movement now. What I was kind of hoping though, like, if we just do like a triangular pool, so let's say we did that, and we use this 
stamp thing just to make the pool like a proper triangle. Then if we shove wave pools at the end, will that funnel everything like along this? Because theoretically, all of these waves should get narrower and narrower and make like a huge wave down there. So waves all along that edge. So they should all be firing forwards and the waves should get funneled down there. No, it, it doesn't seem to work like that, but that's fine. Right, one thing I want to do, I feel like this place needs, it needs a roller coaster. It's called Planet Coaster. We haven't got a coaster. Now this here is called a multiverse coaster. And if you look at all these utilities, look what we have. We've got like coaster turntables. We've got like all sorts of various drops. Now, I don't mean drops. I mean like drop tracks. Like look at all these things. So I don't think we have a hill left on this one. So we have to grab one of these, increase the target speed. So that makes us aim for 100 miles an hour. And then once we hit it, we can start going up. So if I just turn on the testing, we can hopefully see, yeah, look, there's our coaster. We then just add a bit of a banked turn in as we level out. We can then hopefully get up here. Okay, so we're traveling at pretty slow speed. So let me just put some brakes in, slow us down to 8 miles an hour and if we place one of these is that just like a vertical lift oh my goodness it is so we could just place loads of them and make the world's most random coaster <laughs> <laughs> right, then when we get down to here, let's have a look at some of these other ones. So, oh, does that tilt and rotate? Oh, yeah, I think it does. Okay, that's cool. So from here, we can head around that way. Of course, we want to put a bit of a, a, bit of a banked corner in. I don't want people getting whiplash or anything. Right, but then we can put the target speed up. Now, there's actually control your. Does that make the coaster face backwards? Unfortunately, we've got to wait for this lift thing to happen before we can see anything. I guess we'll find out in a bit. Let's just go. So let's try and get to 100 miles an hour. And then maybe we could do a nice little thing like that. Okay, see, oh, it does spin. So they're going backwards. And then, oh my goodness, that's horrendous. I mean, they get the speed to do this cool thing we just built. I don't know whether they're going to like it, though, because they're going to be spinning. But yeah, I guess that's why it's called the multi-dimensional coaster. Anyway, a few little airtime hills. And then some brakes into a little helix down. And we just got to shove an entrance and an exit in. And then what an interesting ride that is with the spinning seats. So all that's left to do is ride this thing. I mean, it looks terrifying over there, seeing like all the gaps in it. <laughs> so how actual scary is it as you go over? So we go fairly slowly and then we stop knowing that if, if the brakes didn't work, we would be very in a bad place. And if the tracks didn't line up perfectly as well. But uh, still, successful coaster. Maybe a little bit fearful and not enough excitement. But definitely not the worst thing I've ever made. Anyway, this is what I want to know. So from this one, does it tilt and spin? Oh, my, oh, that is horrendous. That is terrifying. How are we spinning? It's really like, oh, it's just moving all over the place. Yeah, I didn't like that. And then we're stuck looking down. Oh, you can make some cool coasters. But we've gone backwards and... And now we're speeding up to 100 mile an hour through a tree. Right, and then we've got our crazy little thing going on. Okay, I can't tell what's going on. The fact we're not facing forwards is not very nice. I feel like I'm going to vomit a little bit. But uh, the little airtime hill is at the end. Nice. And we got our very, very slow banked corner. And then into the end. Oh, and because it may have seemed a little bit tame, I added some flames. <laughs> So now it's a fair bit dangerous than it was before. <laughs> but at least it makes this bit a little bit more exciting. Anyway, overall, I think this place is a huge success. We've pushed the limits of engineering. Everything we've created is so popular. <laughs> Look at this place. And while some things didn't go to plan, others have worked perfectly because no one wants to sit on any of these benches. They're all having far too much fun at breaking reality. The game's gone very wonky recently, but we don't judge. It is what it is. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, love, and Planet Coaster. Bye.